Hey, what's up there crew? Matt here with TRW. So have you ever thought about getting into the rhinestone car window decals? I know a lot of you have seen our different videos. I haven't tried rhinestones yet. I really like the idea of these rhinestone car window decals because it's something that's really unique and none of the other businesses around my area are currently doing these. So it might be able to have my business offer something that's different and makes me stand out. So I have the perfect package for you and that is project kit number one right here, the rhinestone football decal project kit. Okay, so the materials you're gonna be receiving with this project kit is our 10 gross SS10 crystal Korean low lead rhinestones, 10 gross SS10 smoke topaz Korean low lead rhinestones. You're gonna receive two sheets of our hot fix tape that measure nine and a half inch by 12 inch each one. You got a replacement pad. I know a lot of you have brushes out there already. Wanted to keep the cost of the kit down. So this will work if you're brand new as well. We have nine inch by 12 inch of our Magic Flock Rhinestone template material. And then we also have a nine inch by 12 inch cut of our Bling Anything decal material. Now with this kit, you should be able to make around six to seven of these rhinestone footballs this is our finished product here however if you don't have a vinyl cutter like the silhouette cameo like the graph tech the roll and the gcc something already you can also select the option for a little bit extra cost to get the pre-cut templates where we do all the work for you and we'll send you all of the materials in the package just to try it out and see if this is something that will work for your business so now what we need to do is we need to get into the software, okay? I'm gonna show you the actual cut file. We're gonna send it to our graph tech cutter here that we're gonna cut on today. Once it get cut, we'll show you how to brush in the stones. We'll bring it over here to our pink craft press and we'll make our finished product. So let's go ahead, head over to the software and get this thing ready for our vinyl cutter. All right, so I'm over here in Corel drawing the TRW Design Wizard software, and this is the way the file is going to come through to you. So it doesn't matter what software you own, you'll get an SVG version and a CDR version to be able to use in any vector-based software. So we have our actual football just to show you the full color of it, but then you have the two cuts right here. For, so for me to cut this on the Graph Tech cutter, I'm just going to highlight my design, I'm gonna come over to launch and cut plot CM4, and that's gonna open my Cutting Master 4 software. So now that I have Cutting Master 4 open, I just need to go to my settings, and I'm using a 45 degree blade. It's an older blade, so it's not quite as sharp, so I'm actually up to a force of about 23. A newer blade, I would normally be around the 19 range, and that is also with a 45 degree blade as well with that vinyl overcut feature. So. All good to go with that. Let's head over. Let's get the material set up, our Magic Flock template material in the vinyl cutter and get this thing cut. Okay, so to load the Magic Flock template material into the graph deck, I got my pinch rollers in my blue areas. Check there. Everything looks lined up nicely. Let's lock down my pinch rollers. I'm gonna hit one for front edge. It's gonna read the width of my material, bring it to the front, and my cut is now ready to go. Now I'm just gonna hit send in Cutting Master 4. All right, our cut has finished. I'm just gonna grab the edge here, peel that off. That's a perfect weed right there. Grab my corner here. Peel that one off and perfect again. And now we have our two rhinestone templates ready to go ahead and make this decal. Okay, so now that we have our template cut, we can see we have our crystal part of the template and then our fill, which is gonna be the smoked topaz. So I always start with the largest stone portion of the design for my first part. So I'm just going to apply it to my workstation here, just a basic chalkboard. And then I'm gonna dump in my smoke topaz stones. Okay, so we have the stones and like I said, most of you have a brush already to keep the cost down for all of you on this actual package here. 
our goal was to just give you the actual replacement pad okay so you can use replacement pad just to brush in all of the stones here and I'm just gonna brush in small circles once I feel like most of them are in then I'm just gonna brush in a straight line to get all the excess ones out and all of those stones are now in there perfectly so I'm gonna brush all of my excess stones off to the side here so now I just need a little bit of my hot fix tape so I'm gonna make sure that my tape is big enough for the design looks good there let's peel this up and we're going to use the hinge method so as i drop this down here just make sure it's outside of my blue area because i know my second color is going to be a little bit wider than that so good with that go over that really quickly there pull this back it's going to pull up all of my stones and i can use it use anything to hold that back now i'm going to grab our second template here and we're just going to layer it directly on top so the way that you get this template or the file for you to cut yourself, it's all made to be perfect like this. So let's dump our crystal stones on it. All right, got our crystal stones. And again, just going to go in small circles here. Once I feel like most of them are in, then I'm going to go in my straight line to get the excess ones out. And there we go. Again, all of those are in there perfect. All of them are right side up. Bring my hinge back. We're just going to put this down and now you can see everything lines up perfectly. So now I'm just going to go over it, get all these crystal stones. We can pull this back now and we have now our full and completed rhinestone transfer. All right, so now that our rhinestone transfer is done, we're coming over here to our little pink craft press. I have my protective cover sheet because I want to fold this. So we have a shiny side of the bling anything material. We have a dull side. We always want to press to the shiny side. Think of this material as your garment that you're pressing your rhinestones to. So good to go with our bling anything. Let's get our rhinestone transfer here. We're going to drop that right onto our bling anything here. Fold it over. And I'm at 300 and about 315 to 320 degrees right now. And we're going to go for a full 10 seconds at a medium pressure. Good to go with that. Let's go ahead and release this. And then we will just release our hot fix tape. Now the hot fix tape, even on these, we can use them a couple times. So let's just go ahead and drop that down there. And now we have our completed rhinestone football decal. So the only thing we need to do from here is just trim around the edge of it a little bit here. Now, the cool thing about this material is this material is so clear that you don't have to cut it perfect. Just a little trim around the edge. As soon as they put this on as a sticker, it's just going to kind of dissolve into whatever color they put it to and you're not even going to be able to see it so this is our finished decal ready to hand to the customer one thing i recommend is try to look by the stones there you want to almost get a little bit of a kind of a hump around the stones that means the stones are in there good so if you feel like you might not have pressed it as good come back for about another five second press or so just to make sure you get that kind of like our little insurance press and then got the back side here hand it to the customer like this and there it is they just peel it off and stick it to their car window or whatever they want all right so that's it hopefully you enjoyed this video on how to make a rhinestone football decal hopefully you like this project kit right here to be able to get started show your customers what you can do but on a minimal budget and at a minimal expense to be able to sh offer and show some awesome products. So the last thing I think we need to do, head out here to the parking lot and install, free install, I'm not even gonna charge them for it, but install this football decal on someone's random car out there. Let's do it. All right, so it looks like Mariella is the lucky winner for today's free rhinestone car decal with a free installation. So we got our football decal here, just like the customer would do. We're just gonna peel off the backside of it here. 
we got our window pretty clean here and then it's just a matter of the application so I'm just going to drop this down right there onto the window press against it with my thumb there and we are now applied so now we have a full rhinestone car window decal to match her use USF logo that she did get from the school store we didn't make that for her okay but now it's USF football pretty sweet huh now what I wanted to show you here as you can see all of that material the bling anything material basically disappeared once I applied that on there okay so pretty awesome so Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash that like button. Click that subscribe button, the little bell right next to it, so you can see all the awesome videos that we make to help your business. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon. Later.